I'm Dr. Peg Strub, Chief of Allergy, Asthma, and Immunology at Kaiser Permanente San Francisco, and I'm an assistant clinical professor at the University of California, San Francisco. Uh, in terms of treating pediatric asthma, for the most part, we treat it very similar um, to the way we would treat adult asthma. Um, we have medications, which we call relievers. Examples would be um, albuterol, um, which would be Proair, Ventolin, or Proventil, um, Maxair, Zopinex, and these are what we call Saba, short-acting beta agonists, um, or relievers. Um, and these are medications that we would use um, uh, on an as-needed basis. So in other words, um, if the child is having symptoms, um, or sometimes we'll actually um, have the child use this before exercise or before exposure to a trigger. Um, these are available um, in an MDI, um, which, are, which is a meter dose inhaler. Um, and for some children who are too young um, to use an MDI, these would, it would also be available as a nebulized solution. Um, so those are the relievers. Um, in terms of controllers, Asthma is an inflammatory condition, so we like to treat asthma with controllers. Um, the most common one that we would usually use are, is a category of drugs known as inhaled corticosteroids. Um, and these in um, the doses recommended are generally very safe. Um, although again, um, uh, parents are welcome to talk to their providers about inhaled corticosteroids. Um, but these are available um, for the most part as MDIs, which are meter dose inhalers. Um, they're also available, they can be available as a discus. And for some children who are unable to use any of these devices, um, they're also available um, in a nebulized solution. MDIs are best used with a spacer device. Um, one of the most common ones is an aero chamber. Um, and we use these for both adults um, and for children, um, but for children, the um, spacer devices will come with masks, and there are different size masks that we can use for children, and sometimes they don't use a mask, they can just put the chamber right in their mouth, the spacer device, the spacer chamber, right in their mouth, but this is more effective. Um, there are also, um, uh, there's also another category of drugs, the leukotriene receptor antagonists. Um, and Singular um, is approved for um, children um, two, um, uh, two and above, um, whereas the other drugs, Silutin and Accolade, are approved for ages 12 and above. Um, as with adults, there's another category of drugs, the long-acting beta agonists, um, or LABAs, um, which um, can be very helpful for asthma treatment, but this also needs to be used in conjunction with an inhaled corticosteroid. So we would never use this by itself, but always um, with an inhaled corticosteroid. Um, for um, patients who are having severe flares of asthma, um, sometimes we will use um, oral steroids or even parenteral, which would be IV um, or IM steroids. Um, we use these in both um, pediatric patients as well as adult patients. Um, and these will oftentimes um, stop the flares um, and can be very useful um, for asthma that is not responding um, to either relievers or to the controllers. Um, I'm Dr. Peg Strub, Chief of Allergy Asthma at, um, and immunology at Kaiser Permanente San Francisco and assistant clinical professor at the University of California San Francisco.